Hey guys, welcome to yet another exciting speed test on ancient ROM across these two behemoths. That is the Poco X3 Pro with the 860 and the Mi 11X with the 870. Now, in a previous video, you guys saw that I tested the same ROM, same device with ancient ROM on the K20 Pro. Both of them were running at 60 Hertz, right? This time things are double. Both the devices are running at 120 Hertz. This is a Vivo edition of Ancient OS. This is a 6.1 edition of Ancient OS that we are testing today. Both of them have been set up in exactly identical ways and uh, it will be a lot of fun. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Telegram with more than 1800 members there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so right off the bat, let's see what we have here. We have both the devices in 120 Hertz mode always. Let me just quickly show that to you. Let's see here, 120, 120 and 120, 120 in all the scenarios, right? Now, let's actually go to the ancient OS about section. As you can see, this is 6.2, this is 6.1. K20 Pro was running 6.2 and this guy lost to the K20 Pro. I really hope this time the fight will be much more fair because we have pretty powerful chipsets and let's see how it goes. If, if this one loses this time, that will mean that you know, probably 6.2 will do a better job when it comes to Poco X3 Pro. So we have the stage set. Let's go ahead and try the test. You can see we have around 70% battery, 50% battery, nothing to worry there. Both of them are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's get going, right? We have no apps in memory, as you can see. Now let's start with BGMI. So three, two, one, go. 870 versus 860, similar timings. We also need to consider that if the Mi 11X is defeated by the Poco X3 Pro, that means there will be a test between, no, okay. So the Mi 11X clearly loading BGMI first, the power of 870, Call of Duty Mobile, three, two, one, go. Definitely the Mi 11X is running faster, way faster. And uh, if this is how it's going to be for the rest of the test, I won't be doing a test with this device to the K20 Pro. That's probably a given because it first needs to defeat this one as you can see similar timings to load there now let's go to genshin impact three two one go okay similar timings i'm kind of getting a little scared for the mi 11x i might pit it against the k20 pro because the k20 pro was clearly ahead in all of these tests and uh, yeah similar timings once again among us three two one go Okay, wow, exactly the same timing to load on both the devices. So that's some redemption for the Poco X3 Pro there. I have to give it to the Poco X3 Pro and to do benchmark. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this is a tad a little faster. Geekbench, three, two, one, go. Okay, similar timings. CPU throttle test, three, two, one, go. Similar timings again. Accu battery, three, two, one, go. Wow, exact same timings. Telegram, three, two, one, go. Slightly faster on the Poco X3 Pro, I think. Gmail, three, two, one, go. Okay, Poco X3 Pro winning there. The tables are turning. Twitter, three, two, one, go. Wow, Mi 11X, lightning fast there. Now, Instagram, three, two, one, go. Okay, similar timings there. Now we move to system applications. So the phone app, three, two, one, go. Okay, similar timings. Messaging application, three, two, one, go. Wow, similar timing again. Google Chrome on default search page, three, two, one, go. Wow, exact same timing. Last application in this test, calculator, three, two, one, go. Similar timings again, okay? Now this is about it when it comes to the speed test. 
it's a tie is what i would say this one was fast initially but in most of the remaining tests poco x3 pro kept up so a big shout out to poco x3 pro on ancient os 6.1 big fight there now let's talk about the memory management part before that as you can see on 120 hertz mode the smoothness is almost similar on both the devices so bgmi in memory on the poco x3 pro and this one is loading wow that's a surprise call of duty mobile reloading on both so nothing to see here genshin impact in memory on both the devices surprising among us in memory on both the devices again and to do benchmark reloading on both the devices geekbench in memory on both the devices cpu throttle test in memory on both the devices tough fight here eq battery wow in memory on both the phones telegram in memory again gmail in memory again twitter nice memory management by both instagram wow phone application messaging application google chrome wow and calculator so I think more than 60% of the applications were in memory. Kudos to both these devices and their developers for ancient ROM because that's excellent memory management in both the devices. Now what we're going to check here is we're quickly going to look at the benchmark numbers. The difference of course will be substantial. Don't judge. These are fun speed tests but they do give us a lot of information. So Antutu benchmark is the first app that we will go ahead and check. 582 313 661 457 so this is 20,000 points higher than the normal score that it scores but this is around 20 20,000 points less okay geekbench let's go to single core multi core 782 870 oh 870 870 processors scoring 870 on single core score and 27593129, so definitely beating it by a mile. Now let's go to the CPU throttle test on both the devices. Okay, now let's see here. 80% throttling, 84% throttling. Okay, average 175, 717, 202, 851. So definitely, as far as synthetic benchmarks are concerned, the 870 is destroying the 860, and I'm pretty sure it'll do the same thing to the 855. But what we've come to see from this particular test is if you're just launching applications, if you're not doing hardcore gaming, if you're not doing a lot of performance oriented work, and if the display doesn't really matter to you a lot, there won't be a lot of app launching experience difference that you would notice between two, these two devices. And also the memory management on both the devices is going to be extremely similar as we saw. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna pit the 870 with ancient Vivo to the Redmi K20 Pro. I know that is not a fair fight, but hey, the underdog sometimes can surprise you, right? So stay tuned for that video. Let me know in the comment section, how do you find these stupid and crazy speed tests? I'm having a lot of fun. Until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.